Today we're looking at installing memory on a Dell Rostro. It is a 3520. So what I recommend doing first is just literally booting up the machine, checking that the memory rec that is supposed to be in there is in there. So currently you'll see this has got eight gig RAM. Um, we're gonna put that up to 16. So bear with me, I'm gonna shut down the laptop. Then next, next section will be um, disassembly. Okay, I recommend a clean desk area. Get yourself a nice uh, Phillips screwdriver. Um, what we need to do is undo this here, this here, this here, this here, this here, this here, and this one here, and also that one there. So we'll undo those and then I'll come back to you. Quick technician tip here. Um, if I were you, I would start creating a sheet of paper and just literally put the screws in where you took them out so when you put them back together it makes life a lot easier okay to get this apart what you do um, you'll notice there's a screw in there screw in there that didn't want to come out so well they will come loose they are loose um, what i recommend is getting yourself a nice pick and going around the edge of the laptop um, and then basically you prise it up slowly um, you will find that there's little clips floating about. Um, let me just put my phone down while I do this. Okay, it looks like that corner's still caught, so I'm just going to undo that while applying a little bit of pressure. Now you'll see that the lid's come off. So with the lid off, you'll see that there is currently one stick of memory there, and there's a spare slot. We actually have got the memory provided. That is the model number if it's any use to anyone. Um, I'm just going to open that packet. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we have the packet open. Now, people are not going to like this because I don't agree to them. Some people do use static strips. Personally, I've never had memory fail. As long as you don't touch the black chips there, um, you'll see that I don't touch those. Um, what we do, literally slot it in like that at an angle. Double check it's gone in. Then all you do is you push that down. You'll notice it clips in both sides. Um, and that's the memory installed. Now, what I always generally do, make sure your work area is clean um, and there's no metal underneath because that's the last thing you need. Um, I'll wipe that over afterwards. I'm gonna now power up the laptop just to check that it's showing 16 gig. The uh, reason I do this is because nothing worse than putting the laptop back together and then finding out that the memory didn't seat properly. So I'm just powering that up now. Okay, big thing to mention, when you power on the machine for the first time, it may take a little bit of time to power up. Um, that is mainly due to it coming up with this Dell screen, it does diagnostics. Um, you should then get a screen display and you should get this prompt the amount of system memory has changed. I was going to BIOS Setup. In BIOS Setup, you can then verify that there is showing 16 gig. Um, if that is showing 16 gig, which you can see there, 16, that means that everything's running the way it should be and your job's a good one. Um, all you need to do is put the bottom back on the machine. Um, that is a uh, exact opposite of what we did to undo it really there's no point in uh, running you through putting screws in and um, if you like my video please share comment like if you don't like my video then please let me know um, hopefully this helps even if it's one person that's a bonus thanks